Your Excellency, President Hakeem Hishalema, Excellencies and Delegates, my heartfelt congratulations to you on this auspicious day, the launch of the Zambia Water Investment Program. Because water is the most basic element of life indeed, and when this precious resource is managed well, it brings infinite possibilities to developing our societies. I would have liked to be with you today, and I apologize for my absence. Only a few days ago, I was standing on top of a sand dam in Makweni County in Kenya. I saw for myself how simple, practical solutions are transforming lives for the better, sustaining schools, supporting families and their livestock, and producing food. A few years ago, in that same spot, there was barely anything but rocks. I think I speak for all of us when I say this is why we do what we do. This is what inspires and drives us in our work. As the impacts of climate change accelerate, how we use and manage water will become ever more important. The number of people affected by river flooding in Africa will rise to over 20 million by 2050, with a 50 plus percent increase in fatalities. If global average temperatures increase by 1.5 degrees Celsius, and we're not on track. By our own research, the Global Center on Adaptation's work, it shows that the annual cost of adaptation for water management in Sub-Saharan Africa is just $6 billion. That is 50 times less than if we do nothing. You heard that right. Inaction carries on annual cost of more than 90 billion US dollars. Inaction is expensive. So adaptation and investing is not only the right thing to do, it's the economic smart thing to do. It's essential as a next step. That is why we have joined forces with the African Development Bank, led by President Adeshina, and the African Union under the able leadership of President Macky Sall to form the Africa Adaptation Acceleration Program, AAAP, a 25 billion US dollars program to turbo boost adaptation across the continent in the next five years. And water? Water is at its heart. We are working collaboratively to provide climate resilient water services through deep assessments of climate risk, strategic planning, capacity building, mobilizing finance, but most importantly, driving action on the ground. On September 5, I look forward to welcoming you, Your Excellency, to GCA's headquarters in Rotterdam, the largest floating office in the world for the Africa Adaptation Summit. The African Union, the African Development Bank, International Monetary Fund, United Nations, the World Trade Organization, as well as other global leaders like yourself will be there. It is going to be a vital, a vital moment leading into COP27. We will be building momentum and elevating ambition on urgently needed adaptation goals ahead of our meetings in Sharm el Sheikh. We need finance to flow for Africa. I look forward to meeting you there and I wish you all success in your labors today. I thank you very much indeed.